What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict coming at you with my uh, picks for the Tuesday main slate. All right, guys, so as you can see on the screen, here's my results for today. I had a pretty decent day. Uh, I think I put up five bucks or something like that and came out with $10.19. Um, started off kind of rough, man. Um, I had a lot of uh, Tyler uh, in this guy, and he put up a stinker, you know, nine down points, so. You know, hey, you do what you got to do, right? But, um, yeah, if you just look at the – I ran a couple of different lineups. I had a double-up line that I went – pretty much I went balanced. You know, I didn't have my LeBron, but I, I had a lot of the Lakers game, and uh, I did have me some uh, Larry Nance. He was locked for me, guys, and Larry Nance went the hell off. So was Griffin a lock, remember? So uh, he goes right here, guys. So, anywho, uh, as you can see, I put up 309.75. Um. This game right here, I want to show you guys this, guys. I'm going to create a video here soon about contest selection. But as you can see, this is a uh, six-player contest. One dollar. Top three win. Came out number one. All right. Took a dollar. Turned it into $5.40. So how many people do you have to beat in those big, large GPPs in order to uh, five times your money? Quite a few. So all I'm saying, guys, getting a couple of these other contests. Uh, to build your bankroll up and then start throwing your money in those uh, larger GPPs because, to be honest, your chances of winning those larger GPPs are very slim to none, okay, guys? Just being honest with you. So, like, if you look at this right here, this 20 entry max contest, you know, I came in 6,188 out of about 45,000 people, 59,000 people, okay? I came in at 6,188. I beat a lot of people, and all I got was double my buy-in. I put in a dollar and got two fifty back. I'm just saying, guys, concept, contest selection. Again, I'm going to be creating a video soon about that, guys. So let's get into my picks for today's slate, guys. So, all right, let's move on with it. All right, oh, you kind of got a preview there. So, all right, guys, first and foremost, guys, let's go with the top dollar guy that I'm paying up for. Um, it's going to be this young man here. Uh, but technically, Chris Paul is the uh, the highest. One, but I, I like Chris Paul today, guys. You know, I know he's been in the slump, but this guy, he is an all-star, man. And, uh, you know, he's not going to stay in the slump for too long. 5'11", 3 for 12. You know what I'm saying? Shooting 30%, 40%. I'm just saying, hey, it's Chris Paul, guys. We got a game against OKC with one of the highest over and unders on the slate. I believe it's the second highest. With 223 points going to be scored between these two teams, guys. And Chris Paul is either going to be scoring the ball or assisting the ball. All right. Last time these two teams met, Chris Paul was out, and it was just Harden, and he went out. So just be careful if you pay up for Harden, guys. Just remember that game that he played versus OKC earlier this year was without Chris Paul. So he did a lot of the heavy lifting. So anyway, Chris Paul, 7.9K for All-Star. Lock him in, man. He's too cheap, in my opinion. All right. You guys kind of saw the other player already. Like I said, Kimba Walker. I like Kimba Walker at home, man. If you guys don't know anything about Kim, he normally plays bad at home. 39.7 as opposed to 39.2. If you look at his field goal percentage, three-point percentage is better at home. So, hey, one game versus Philly, 43 DK points. Put up 31 points, had one rebound and a couple of assists. So, um, if you look at his uh, game log, he's been consistently around 40 DK points. Except for this one game here where they got blew out by Boston. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they got blew out by Boston by 30 points. Oh, my God. But uh, this is Philly. They ain't blowing nobody out. Should be a competitive game. As you can see, these teams just met a couple of, couple of days ago in Philly. And it uh, looks like uh, Kimball Walker led the charge. And uh, they came up short by a few points. But uh, he's at home. Should be pumped up for this game. I like Kimball Walker, guys. All right. Next up, I like a couple of the Harris players. Okay. First off, we're going to stop at the top. At the top with uh, Tobias, man, playing against New Orleans. All right, Tobias Harris has been this uh, been kind of carrying the load here lately, with uh, the other uh, four being out. All right, so if you look at the last time these two teams met, my man played pretty much 38 minutes, which is pretty much the whole game. Took 18 shots, scored 25 points, had five rebounds and a couple of assists, a steal and a block. Okay, 42 DK points, which is not bad for a guy that's seven. And again, this is another game that has a high over and under. I like playing players with high usage in high scoring games. This is the number one 
projected scoring game, New Orleans versus Los Angeles Clippers. I want some of it, and I'm picking Tobias Harris. Let's go. 7.5, Kenny. All right, so again, I said I like the Harris guys, man. Let me go back to the other Harris, Gary Harris, man, playing against Dallas. Dallas is a team that's uh that's been playing teams. You know, they're supposed to be tanking, supposed to be tanking the season, but um, if you look at the last couple of games, guys, they've been keeping it close. And um, I like Denver versus Dallas. Again, if you look at the game log, they've played three times. Gary Harris averages around 38 minutes, and he's put up 40 DraftKings points. So for a guy that's 6K, that's easy money, man. If you look at his game log, he's been around 35, 34 points over the last couple of games. And again, this game should be another high-scoring game. And I like Gary Harris at shooting guard, especially if Wes Matthews is out again. Um, from my understanding, he's out. But uh, keep out on that news, guys. So, all right, last but not least, guys, going back to that game again, I love this uh, Charlotte slash Philly game. If you look at Robert Covington, um, he appears to be uh, doing a little bit better. Uh, you see this last game, um, he only played 28 minutes. All right. But if you look at the last time these two teams met, he played 35 minutes, put up 31 DK points, 16 points, a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, and he had a couple of steals. Okay, guys? So, again, this is just a couple of days ago where these two teams played. All right? So I like Robert Covington. All right? I'm pretty sure they're going to need him out there to play defense, and um, he's going to play big minutes. So I like Robert Covington. Minutes equal opportunity. Opportunity equals possible DraftKings points, which we like in cash. All right, guys, so you lock in those top five plays that I have that I like today for cash games, and uh, um, it's what you have left, man, you know? Okay, so at least about $5,000 per player, you know? You can go and get a couple of players. And, again, if you don't like some of these high-dollar players like Chris Paul, you can take him out and pop you in. A, you want to go back to Dame at home again versus New York, you know, hey, you can go there, maybe pop off for another – 55 DraftKings points, you know, or if you, you want to get you some uh, some DeAndre Jordan versus the uh, New Orleans Saints, you know. Not New Orleans Saints, what am I talking about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys, so, uh, oh, man, you got Capella going against OKC, you know. Not a bad play there, especially this game is competitive, and they're going back and forth, you know. And on the other side of that, I like Steven Adams. Steven Adams is only 6.4K. You know, he can get a double-double in this game, guys. Put up about 35. Look at that. Like, I, look at double-double, 10, 15. All right? So, I like Steven Adams, guys. If you like him for for double-double. Ray John Rondo's been hot lately. You know, playing against LAC. You know, who they have playing point guard? Miritic or whatever, you know? Anybody afraid of his, de- his defense? I think not. Again, this is going to be the highest scoring game projected on the slate. This guy's been playing 30-plus minutes, assisting the hell out the ball. Double, double, triple-double waiting to happen. Matter of fact, let me go in and put in Rondo. I like Rondo. That leaves me 4,800 per player. But, again, guys, a couple other plays that I like. Uh, maybe we can go back to Millsap, but his price is getting up there. You know, but if his minutes goes up, he could pay off that price. You know, so um, keep an eye on that. See what the news is. Um, Joey J. Val versus ATL. Uh, hey, you attack Atlanta at the center position. Last time J. Val played this team, oh, he averages 35 DK points. Three games. I believe one of the games he scored some some kind of ridiculous, like, you know, he put up like 60 points or something like that. But um, this guy here, if he gets minutes, man, he's a high point per minute guy. As you can see right here, he played 30 minutes, put up 40 DK points. All righty. So um, that's a chance you may take in your GPPs is J. Val. Um, I like Dirk. Dirk been playing good the last couple of games, you know. Again, 27 to 30 DK points for a guy that's 5K. That's not much, but he's playing against Denver. Paced up team. Should be a, should be a lot of scoring. I don't like he played too many minutes versus this team in the past, so maybe that's not a good play. But I like Dirk if he's going to get the minutes because lately, like I said, he's been hot. All right. Who else we got, guys? J.J. Reddick should be a good play versus Charlotte. I don't like Beasley. I like E. Gordon, but I don't know his price is getting up there. And his versus OKC, man. But I'm saying the dude been shooting the lights off from the three-pointer, man. Can he keep this up? I'm just saying he, he's probably due for a letdown. But, hey, you want to take a chance in your GPPs and throw him in there? Maybe go 7 for 11 again from three-point line versus OKC? 
Yeah. Hey. Good luck. All right. What else? Um. Oh, I like the guard. The coach's son, Austin Rivers. Uh, he should have a good game again going against LAC. You want to attack them that way. There you go. 34 minutes. He put up 31 DraftKings points. All right, guys. Austin Rivers, he's been hot the last couple of games, playing lots of minutes with all the injuries they have to their guards. So Austin Rivers is another value play, guys, that you can lock in. All right. All right, guys. So that's some of my top plays for Tuesday's main slate, guys. All right. You already know other players like Anthony Davis, Westbrook, and Harden. You could possibly pay up for those guys if you like. Me personally, I'm not going to pay up for them unless, uh, you know, some value opens up or, you know, some real good value, which could happen. You know, somebody could be ruled out in a good matchup. But uh, as you can see, Westbrook put up 60 DK points versus Houston the last time. And he's been on the heater the last couple of games. You know, Jokic versus Dallas. Sinners versus Dallas is normally a good play. All right. As you see, two games, he averaged 61 DK points. So Jokic is another spot you can go to. You know, you got the uh, Golden State versus Brooklyn game. Does that game blow out? It's projected to be like a 14-point um, game. Oh, my God. Steph Curry lit these boys up, man. Four for 10, 11 assists, 11 rebounds. Oh, my God. You might want to look at some Steph Curry if he's healthy. I know he tweaked his ankle or whatever. But that might be a good play there, guys. All right. So there goes some options, guys. All right. So point per dollar, look at the guys. If they're 11K, can they put up at least five times value as as a floor? You know, but you ultimately want to try to hit six six times value, guys. So you take their salary, 11K times six. So can, do you feel like they can score 66 DK points? If it's not, then, hey, you could be hurting yourself because you pay all that money for the high dollar player and you have to play these scrubs and these scrubs don't perform and the high dollar person does not exceed value and you're killing your lineup, man. So, hey, again, my best lineup, I posted it on Twitter. It was a balanced lineup. I don't think I had anybody over uh, 9K. So, hey, that's a possibility, guys. So, good luck tomorrow, man. Highlight me in the comments, guys. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, any advice you have on, on the video format, let me know. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you can get my updates. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Wednesday slate. Holla.